Hi! In this series of videos, we'll be talking about power series. And more specifically, given the function, we would like to find the power series representation and also its interval of convergence for the function. Remember, for power series, it's just a way to express complicated functions by using infinite polynomials. And we have two ways to do that. The first method is that we can use algebraic or calculus operations along with our best friend. And this right here is our best friend. 1 over 1 minus x can be written as 1 plus x plus x squared plus x plus third power and so on forever. And this pretty much came from the geometry series, the 1 over 1 minus r, and it's like the 1 plus r plus r squared and so on. As you can see on the left hand side, we have a rational function, 1 over 1 minus x. But then on the right hand side, we have a polynomial. But then since this keeps on going forever, this is an infinite polynomial. And then remember the criteria of being a polynomial. All the power of x have to be non-negative whole number. So here we have x plus 0, here we have x to the first, x to the second, x to the third, and so on forever. And then we can also write this by using a sigma notation, sigma when n goes from 0 to infinity, x to the n power. Okay. However, whenever we're doing these kind of things, we have to uh, be careful with it. Because this right here, it's only true only if the absolute value of x is less than 1. So, for example, if I want to plug in x is equal to negative 1 half, I can use it because negative 1 half satisfies this condition. I get to plug in, and you guys get to plug in. Everybody get to plug in. x is equal to ne negative 1 half, x is equal to negative 1 half on the left hand side right here into this x and then we can also plug in negative 1 half into all these x on the right hand side okay and we can also plug in let's say x is equal to 0 0.8 because 0 0.8 also satisfies this condition so this is the idea and this right here tells us the radius of convergence is 1 okay but then more specifically we would like to talk about the interval of convergence which is right here our best friend only converge, meaning that we can only use our best friend only if the x value is in between of negative 1 and 1, not including these two endpoints. That's why we use parentheses right here. We are not including negative 1, we are not including the 1. So we cannot plug in negative 1 into this x, we cannot plug in 1 into all this x. Okay? So that's our first method. Our second method is to use the Taylor's formula, which it says if we want to write a function in terms of its power series, center the a, that's what we have the x minus a to the nth power, and then instead of the sigma notation, cn are the coefficient of the polynomial. And we know that by the formula, cn is equal to the nth derivative of f when you plug in a, and then we divide it by n factorial. That will give you the coefficients. And then this is pretty much an introduction, and I'll show you guys an example with how to use a best friend and add the Taylor formulas as well. 